who asked Jesus to heal his servant, the centurion, you know, that uh, the leader of 100 so oh, okay. uh, actually it's uh, not, not a centurion, it's a uh, uh, thousand of the leader of and then Jesus said, okay, I'll go to him and pray for him. But, Jesus, uh, but, this, uh, uh, but this leader said, you don't have to go because you just, because I have soldiers underneath me and I, when I tell them to go, then they will go. I know that you have authority. So will you, when you command it to be done, it will be done. And so you don't have to go. <laughs> you just command me and my servant will be healed. <laughs> and Jesus praised this man. He said he has faith. Greater than anyone in Israel. Because he knows Jesus' authority. And he knows that Jesus cares. And Jesus was, I mean, that, uh, that his servant was instantly healed. Now, so I hope that you have faith that God really cares about us. And he has almighty power. And he and he treasure people who love him. He treasure people who obey God. When you love God and obey God, God will do great things in your life. So when I pray, I, I start like this. Lord, I know you're right here blessing me. I know you want to use me greatly. I know you accomplish your work. When I pray, I said, I know. Because the Bible has promised that. So I hope you always say, yes, Lord, I know that you are here. You want to bless me and use me. And that way when you have this faith that God can do more things in your life. Now when you have this faith, of course it also means that you really love God and obey God and follow God in your life. Some people just believe God when they have a need and then they pray and they say, okay, I have faith now. Let me tell you, for me, for the whole day long, I will be thinking about God. Loving God. Even now, when I think of God, I like Him. So I'm connected to God all the time. And I can feel His presence on me right now. Okay, so so first, just now I said that first have faith in God. Second is to love God and obey God all the time. And the third is pray in the spirit. Not just pray in the mouth. The spirit includes our spirit and our soul. Our soul includes our mind, our will, and our feelings. And feeling. That means my whole mind agrees with God. That God is the best. That God loves us. He has all power. He's the best. Following him is the best. So in my mind, I always like God. And then my will 
وبتصير بعدين ارادتي I say Lord I dedicate my life to you يا رب انا بكرس حياتي من اجلك I give my life and my time to you حياتي ووقتي and my money to you ومالي my life is for God حياتي لله Let me tell you I'm almost 66 years old تقريبا عمري 66 سنه Many people are happy to stay home and rest. But I want to use the rest of my life. I want to live as long as possible. To train people to serve God. I dedicate my whole life to God. And I ask God for strength. And I thank God. Even at this age, I can read small letters without eyeglasses. And I still have muscles. I go to different places. That's God's blessings. That's God's blessings. Also, that I feelings wise, I really like God. I like everything God has created. I like how God works in my life. I like how we can experience His peace and love and joy. And, and then I pray from my whole spirit. I pray from my whole spirit. It's like my whole spirit really run to God. My whole spirit desire God. And when I pray like that, people can almost experience God instantly. I've seen many miracles. I've seen cancer patients heal instantly. Cancer patients heal. I've seen people with different health problems heal instantly. I've driven out demons right instantly. And you can do that too. So learn to pray from your spirit. Now I can I still say if someone wants to come out, I'll pray for you for one minute. And you can experience his presence. Does anyone want to do that? So when you pray to God from your spirit and love God. Jesus, you love me. And believe that God is right here. That is very important. Let me have a short prayer leading you. Can you stand up? Can you stand up? And close your eyes. Okay. Now, please close your eyes. Now, if you want to, you can reach out your hand to God. Like that. Reach out your hand to God. Oh Heavenly Father, you love us very much. You're right here now. Open our hearts to welcome you, to believe that you're right here. You want to bless us. We need you, Jesus. And you want to bless us. You want to raise up our life to a higher level. You have a wonderful plan in our life. Thank God for your love. Welcome Jesus. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. You can interpret. Holy Spirit, you're welcome here. Jesus, yes, you can sing together. Yes, 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 y
I worship you. I depend on you. Jesus is good. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. You hear you so good to me. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now please keep your eyes closed. How many of you experienced some peace? Did anyone of you experience some peace in the short prayer here? Can you raise up your hand? Can you raise up your hand? If you experience some peace coming to you. They said that they always experience peace. Okay. That's good. But what I mean is, when you pray, you can, ex you can experience a peace stronger than normally that you experience. And also, you can experience something stronger than peace too. Okay. God bless you. So remember the three things I talked about. One, have faith. Faith. God loves us. God cares about us. Second, love God and obey God. And, and serve God. And, and, serve God. and number three, worship in spirit and in truth. The whole person worship God. And I'm happy to pray for some of you. If you can stay behind a little bit after, afterwards. Okay. God bless you all. Thank you.